Yo, in today's video, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the best vocal tuning plugin I've ever used. Let's get right into it. So it's called Voloco Producer. And as you can see, there's way more than just vocal tuning going on here. I'll be using Voloco Producer to enhance a vocal that I already have in this session right here. You can hear that it's pretty dry. And we living in the dark. And then da, da, da. No tuning whatsoever. All I did was pitch it up a higher octave, but I want to throw some real sauce on there. The local producer is the plugin to do that and so much more. We have different presets to get you started. You can make your own custom presets. You can choose your different number of voices. I'll leave it on one for now. Choose your key. In this case, we're in A minor. Set it to A minor. You can go ahead and choose one of these crazy other presets if you like. Like I said, I'm just going to keep it on natural for now. And we live in the dark. Is your strength and your speed of your tuning. And you can also hear some effects going on. So that's because this tab right here, you have EQ, compression, and reverb. You got compression. You can use an auto threshold or you can change the threshold by hand. You got a de-esser. You got an EQ, a delay, and a reverb. You could choose different pedal effects. Wave shaping, LFO pitch shifter, ring modulation, chorus, sequenced gate, and a bus gain in a chorus effect. So let's try LFO pitch shifter. And we live in, in the dark. It gives it that little like lo-fi wobble. That's kind of crazy. Let's try adding a chorus effect. We can enable it here with the LFO period and beats. You can see it kind of snaps in. You get some really fine-tuned settings here, which is really cool. You can get really intricate with all these different effects. So let's move to the sequencer. You can change the sequence of the groove. So you can use the Dawes tempo here. I'm going to leave that checked. So that way, if we want to create some sort of rhythm in there, you could do so with the Dawes tempo. So that way, it automatically gets it. What I really love is this harmony section. So let's choose triads. You can go over here and you can hit all these different presets, single unison voice, triads, seventh chords, classical, drones, plus unison, arp, thirds over low drone, vertigo. I like triads. So I'm going to leave this one at zero. That's voice one. We'll leave that as is. And then we'll go up a third and then a fifth. I find that that if you go up three, five, seven, nine, those usually work the best when, especially when you're doing a triad. So this sounds really good. So again, you don't have to do this like on your main vocal. You could create a copy of your main vocal and then do it on the copy. And then if we go back over to Wreath Synthesizer, you have different types that you can choose as well. Right now it's on PSOLA. You could choose signs, noise, and you got a harmonic EQ right here. You got EQ motion and some panning. You can choose a vocoder. <laughs> Format. So if you want it higher pitch, you can go up here. <laughs> you can add vibrato. Amp semitones is going to choose like how much vibrato and how far up and down it goes as far as notes. That's starting to sound really good. By the way, this track that I'm working on is like an EDM sort of future bass track. So this vocal is just a sample that I found that's going to probably play throughout the drop. And again, with that vocoder, if you want to like create some different sound in here, you can mess around with this harmonic EQ and then the EQ motion. And if you go down here and you choose panning, a light swirl. If you're listening on headphones or a monitor right now, you can hear it kind of going back and forth, left and right. You can hear that it got a lot wider. Speed. That's fire. I'm going to go back to the EQ compressor in the effects section. I'm going to leave everything as is except for the reverb. I'm going to add some more reverb. Give it a little pre-delay. 
We even got a limiter here. This plugin's really like an all-in-one, you know? Like, you don't even have to add another vocal chain underneath this if you don't want to. This can be your actual vocal chain. You got your tuning, you got your effects, you got pedals, compression, reverb, delay, harmonies, sequencer if you want to add a rhythm. I mean, you name it, this plugin has it. That's why I go so hard for this plugin because it's a one-stop shop for everything vocals. <laughs> I'm thinking now, like, got to this point, it's really, like, nice, and the harmonics are really good. All those harmonies in the background sound really good. So, again, just to touch on it, you could choose different presets. Essentially, what I just did is I created my own preset, where I just went to natural tune, and I just started adding things, and just started compiling different effects and harmonies and whatnot. So, essentially, what I just did was create my own template and my own preset. So, if we want to save that for future reference, we hit save, and we just name it you preset me and it'll be in your custom preset section you can also import presets and you can create a brand new one here but that's essentially what we just did give this a level i might want to add like a lower octave on top of this <laughs> What you could do too is just go to that vocal and just pitch it down a full octave. I feel like we need a little bit of compression. So I'm going to go to this back to Voloco. I'm going to go to the compressor setting inside the effects. And I'm going to turn off the auto threshold. And I'm going to bring it down. Output gain up. So now I really love what I did with Voloco Producer on that vocal. But what I want to do is like have that be a little bit secondary, like almost the full mix in there. So what I did was I copy and pasted the dry vocal on top of it. And now I'm going to do a blend. So almost we're doing like a parallel processing type of thing here. So now I have the main vocal on top that doesn't have Voloco Producer. And then this one has all the effects that we just did inside Voloco Producer. So here's a blend of the two. <laughs> I really love that blend. I can even add some like stereo separation here in the mixer. I love that. That sounds awesome. Now let's listen to that in the full mix. That sounds amazing to me. Again, I can't vouch for this plugin enough. It's a one-stop shop vocal chain for your entire vocal processing. So if you want to try this out, hit the link down in the description below. And as always, make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.